So hey everyone, today we are going to discuss about statement and options and we'll understand the difference between them as well. Okay, so let's continue in the screen. So first you can see on the third row, we are creating a new data set. Okay, and the data name is exp1. Then we are giving semicolon to end the statement. Then using set, we are calling a data, class data from SAS help library. Then we are writing run to execute the statement. Now let's run this data. So you can see these variables are coming like that is name, sex, age, height and one more variable weight. Now you can see then I have written proc print data. Proc print is used to print your data and then I have given the exp1 data name. Then I have used here a option first ops and ops. So first ops is used to tell SAS from which observation like SAS should read the records and till uh, which observation it should read. So from fifth observation to 10th observation it should read. So you can see in our raw data, we are having 19 records, okay? But while using proc print as we have used here first ops and ops option, so we are able to control the display, how many records we want in the display from fifth record till 10th record. Now this is an option. Now same we can write as an option in the set statement as well. Now you can see here, we have created a new data and we have written set statement and we have called the exp1 data. Then here we are writing first ops and ops. So what will happen? The output will be same. Again, we'll get, get these five records, but what will happen ultimately here in this case, your data exp1 was having all the records from the class data, 19 records. But at the time of display, you are able to control the number of record you want to display. But here, because you are using this in the set statement from the exp1, even though it is having 19 records, it will call only from fifth record to 10th record. The final data exp2 data, you are calling data from exp1 and you are telling SAS while calling, just call only fifth record to 10th record and it will st store the data into new data set exp2. Now let's see this. Now you can have a question that, sir, I'm getting here one to six. Why so? Not five to 10 because this is record number. Okay. And it is recreating the record number. Now you might have a question why we are not getting this in the proc print. In the proc print, we are getting five to 10 because proc print is printing your data simply. Here you are making changes in your data itself. So what is happening? It is recounting the numbers. Let's see one more example. Now on 15 row, we created a new data exp3. We call the raw data exp1. Then we are using a rename statement. Now you can see rename is used to rename the variable name. You know, in our class data, we are having name variable and we are renaming it to new name, age variable to age one, sex two, sex two. Now you might have a question why we are talking about class data because in exp1, we have called class data only, right? Okay, here we were on 17 row. So you can see on 17 row, we have written rename statement and we have changed three variable names, name to new name, age to age one, sex to sex one, uh, sex to sex two. So before equal to existing variable name, after equal to the new variable name you want to give. And finally, after like changing the variable name, we are giving here semicolon to close the statement. Why we haven't closed on these rows? The reason was because we wanted to continue it, right? Now we have decided, okay, we wanted to like finally do it for three variable only rename and now we are closing finally. So now it's gonna end. So if you'll end here, what will happen? You're gonna get error in the log window. The reason is simple. You are using this rename statement in each of these variables. And if you'll close here, how you it gonna utilize for the next rows or the next variables. And logically, if you'll write this in the same row, na, like this way, then also it will work. Let me show you. You can see new name, sex two and age one. But the better way of writing is keeping it in the next row. So it looks good actually. Now you can see here on 22 row, we have written data to create a new data. Then the new data name we have given exp4, then semicolon to close the statement. Then on 23 row, we have written set to call the existing data. Then we are calling the exp1 data. Then we are using rename option and we are renaming weight variable and height variable. So we have opened two brackets. So we are closing two bracket as well. So this will also work in the same way, new height and new weight. So according to the variable name you have given the new name, it is coming. Now you might have a question. What is the difference between the statement and the option? If you can do in this way, why like we should do in this way? 
so there can be certain scenario there you wanted to rename the variable okay in the beginning itself like let's suppose what is happening here on 16 row first you are calling the data exp1 then you are telling says that i want to rename three variables these three variable and these are the new names but here what is happening on 23 row on 23 row what you are doing at the time of calling data okay at the time of calling set is used to call the existing data right the data which is already there so at the time of calling data you are telling says do one thing call the data and change the variable name at the same time so there can be certain scenario where you wanted to change your variable name at the time of calling the data itself in that scenario it will be helpful now in the same way on 26 row we are creating a new data exp5 27 row we are calling the data exp1 then 28 row we are writing keep keep is used to keep the variables we are keeping name age and sex variable and then we are running it okay you can see out of five variable we are getting only three variable because we have mentioned in key now we're going to use keep as an option so now again what is the difference here after calling your data then in the next step you are telling i want to keep this variable but you are calling all the variable you can see in here itself in the log window there were 19 observation read from data work.exp1 and the data set work.exp5 have 19 observation in three variable okay so if you see the log window you might see the same but let me tell you the difference okay here we are getting the log same but ultimately what happened let me tell you here first you called your data from exp1 so it have called all the variables five variables name sex age and height and wait but here on 32 row what you have done at the time of calling the data from exp1 what you told I want to call only this variable that is name age and height so it will not call all the variables and later on you don't need to remove it or keep or drop it because you have done at this step only then again here you also you can see we are using the rename and we are renaming the sex new to sex and here in the option we are doing it we are renaming the sex variable to sex one so again here also it's same here you are renaming on 36 row first you are calling your data 37 row then you are renaming your variable here what is happening at the time of calling the data on 41 row you are just renaming it now let's focus on 40 row again you are creating a new data exp8 then on 41 row you are writing set that is used to call the data so you are calling exp1 data that is at the top you can see this data then on 45 row you are writing where age equal to 14 so what is happening here at the time of calling the data itself you are telling says call only where age is 14 or where in the age variable it contains the observation 14 where age is 14 so you can see in the output out of 19 records we are getting only four records because there are only four people in your data their age is 14 and here on 48 row again you are creating a new data 49 row you are calling the data then you are giving condition i want those records only where age is equal to 14 so again you're gonna get same output okay four records so the only difference between statement and option is in statement you do it separately in options along with any step either with set either with data even with data step you can write keep or drop or rename so you are doing along with any step and you are using statement as an option okay so the benefit is that in some cases if you want to do it like at the time of calling the data itself you can perform early okay instead of doing it later on and that will help you in some cases and that will make your coding more effective but in normal way if you don't need rename or keep or drop as an option keep as a statement because if you see if you write as a statement now nah, that looks good and that's easy to understand as well just look on 50 row where you have given the condition where age is equal to 14 so if you have to give only this condition so in that way this will be the better way of doing it if you write in this way you are calling the data then again you are giving a condition here itself so this will be not a better way of doing it because this code looks more good compared to this one the data exp10 looks more good compared to exp9 now depend upon the users if there is certain scenario where you have to give this where condition here itself at the time of calling data so in that case that will be more better approach the option will more better approach 
see the statement if you are using separately now that is a statement if you are using here that will become option so guys this is about statement and option and again this video is for the people who have already learned SAS and they might not know or they haven't learned this concept so if you are a fresher uh, like uh, whatever I have explained it might be not understandable to you fully because I have explained in such way that like experienced person can understand okay this session was related to interview purpose like if there was a question if there is a question what is the difference between statement and option and what is the difference if you like write the rename condition with set or if you write it separately okay if you write it as an option if you write it separately if you write it in data step like here you can write drop equal to and let's drop name variable okay you can see sex age height weight name variable is not because you have dropped here itself now you can write drop here as as well you can see here in this way as well here what you have done if you have written here this will allow if you write in the data set it will allow to process this name variable but it will not show in the output so there are multiple uh, ways of doing the same thing in SAS and uh, why you should know like if you can use this as a statement why should you know why we can write in data step as well in set uh, step as well okay along with set as an option along with data as an option what are the benefits so there will be certain scenarios in that case this way or this way or this way might be better approach of doing it so for those scenarios it is beneficial but initially if you are giving interview if you are like working as a fresher so like even if you don't know this concept deeply that is fine okay but if you understand it is very easy to understand you just need to understand the difference between statement and option that's all so guys hope this video is helpful for you guys let's meet in the next video till the time bye bye everyone